When I was a lad, an old ship was a pup. He got the dog when just a pup. He too a babe, they both grew up and ventured down each newfound track like they were never turning back. That dog knew when his bus was due and scored a stolen snack or two. But like the faithful breed can boast, she knew when she was needed most. The boy was nine. Two bucks he got to mow the lawn. The day was hot. An angry brown snake came behind. The dog went out and shot in blind. She broke its back with one wild flick. Yet even so, that snake was quick. It nailed her too. Three bites she copped. She staggered, wagged her tail and dropped. Oblivious, the boy mowed on, till soon he turned and stumbled on, a snake that begged the sun to set, there twitching by his lifeless pet. He slumped beside his fearless friend and hugged her till the bitter end, left alone to testify and ponder for whom he might die. Twas sixty-eight near Newey Dat, in faded greens and a slouch hat, his life once more now in the hands of man's best friend in hostile lands. His tracker dog that sniffed the air, a mutt recruited God knows where, to crawl through jungles thick and mined and hunt down snakes, the human kind. One steamy night, a swampy bog, jet black as coal in goes the dog. Its ears prick up, his master dives, a flash, a fight, they save ten lives. Sheer luck saw them survive that joint. From sentry post to forward point, they shared a swag, their food. But damn, his dog was left in Vietnam. Now these days at the big parade, he hears of sacrifices made and scruffs his old dog's loyal chest, convinced he's only known the best. One gave her life to save the boss. One should have earned the Purple Cross, his soldier dog, devoted scout, that never earned a ticket out. He spruiks a tail while flipping stakes of fearless friends and deadly snakes, of folks who fought and died and how the art of war seems senseless now, while ghosts upon the battleground include the mighty horse and hound, some shot for all their selfless toil, some left to dream on foreign soil. His grandkids gasp and beg for more. He cracks a joke, they laugh and roar, then race to pat his old dog too, and feed it from the barbecue, imagining, as children can, the things a dog might do for man, how freedom's quest must never end, and what it means to be a friend. But if dogs have a heaven, there's one thing I know, old Shep has a wonderful 